What's good, what's good? Y'all already know we back at it again. Another upload for all my supporters, all my friends, everyone that's been, you know, rocking with the channel since day one. Helping us grow and helping us get that motivation to keep on uploading and letting y'all, you know, in some information that's going around the trenches on the drill scene, man, or some of your favorite rappers, man. You know we're going to mix it up in some content and put you on the insights of what's been going on. Just in case y'all been caught up the whole weekend missed out man busy you know getting that whole christmas shopping and all that done y'all know we got the replay right here so salute salute let's click that like button real quick all right then we over here with king yellow man that's right big gd gdn king yellow seven fold big dog man from las vegas stepping in sending a message to the no limit joker himself Cairo, man. Hey, Cairo. Shut your stupid ass up. You always got something to say. Damn. You niggas a, a take up or say something for the next nigga from out of town somewhere before y'all take it up for y'all own shit. Shut your dumb ass up, bro. You. I'm tired of you, gang. Because you already. Shut your hook ass up. Simple as that. You doing too much. Shut the fuck up. You GD. Before I give your ass a McDonald's, a McDonald's, a McDonald's memory. You remember that? <laughs> to the wall. <laughs> Pussy. That's right. No Limit Cairo being called out by King Yella. After the whole video going viral of P. Diddy's son pretty much dropping the rakes. The video is going viral, man. A lot of people are shocked. Saying, how is a big celebrity who's a billionaire, his son is now gangbanging, disrespecting a whole nation of gangster disciples, a whole GDK movement in his heart. So the reason why he went off on Cairo is because after he addressed, you know, Diddy's son for that whole GDK movement uh, video going viral, um, Cairo steps up. For Diddy's son and says, "Yo, leave leave my shorty alone, man. He's with us. He's he's my boy. Uh, you just mad? You salty? Ain't nobody like the GDs anymore. 2003, everybody's GDK. First, it was everybody was Tuka back in 2012. Everybody was lighting up Tuka. They had the Tuka pack. New York drill rappers were mentioning Tuka." Amigos, all this type of crazy things was going on, man, where everybody had a Tuka pack all of a sudden. Now, in 2020, we saw after 2020, 2023, the rise of GDK, man. Everybody's GDK, everybody dropping the forks, and that's something that King Yella cannot really appreciate and have to. So we kind of understand why King Yella stepped up and you know, send a message back to Diddy's son saying, man, you grew up in a mansion, private community, gated community. And I'm not talking about old block, I'm not talking about gated community like old block. I'm talking about like out there in the hills, man, with the big mansions, white neighbors, everybody's a company owner. And somehow, some way you want to. Drop the rakes, say GDK in front of your girlfriend because you think it's cute. You think it looks cute to be doing this hand sign that you see your favorite rappers on their videos doing. So now you from the suburbs think it's cute to take pictures and videos like this and show, show off to your lady. So Cairo has always been getting in the mix though when it's something against the GDs. He tries to play both roles. We know he's GDK as well, but we saw he was trying to act like he don't really, really got any problems with GDs, but he's GDK still. But as soon as there's a song or something viral on the internet, internet where it has to be with something with a GD rapper being exposed or being, you know, clowned or trolled, he jumps on it and he laughs. And he, he just, you know, pretty much rides the whole bandwagon of disrespecting and clowning the GDs for the week. We saw what happened with the whole Adam 22, you know, making fun of Wolski, calling him 
you know, slow, and then this Ruga, and then also pretty much Alan 22, kind of GD Zesty Disciples, kind of ZD's Zesty Disciples, after the whole King Lil J pretty much, you know, put that image for the disciples out there. And Cairo, of course, always goes along, like I said, so... King Yellow pretty much is fed up with this whole sneak this scene playing both sides, Cairo. So he brings up the whole McDonald's situation. If y'all new to the drill scene, y'all already started following, you know, the drill scene because all of a sudden these whole Cook County Jail videos started leaking of King Vaughn and some of your favorite rappers, the whole Lil J. So then you decided, you know, to rewind and start following up with what y'all missed out on. So before the whole G Herbo blowing up, getting popular and famous, before Lil Bibby took off, man, they were stuck back in Chicago, man. This is way before a lot of you drill rappers that you guys are following now. Well, Cairo and the No Limits, man, you should have to walk to McDonald's to get, you know, a little late night grub, a little snack, rush, whatever it is. But unfortunately, there's a video that went viral with KTS Vaughn. And KT is Dre, Cop, No Limit, and Cairo in McDonald's lacking. And then there's a video, man, where one of the members from KTS, KT is Dre, pretty much punches Cairo, has him pinned against the wall, has him sweating, has him pulling up his zipper. He's like, you know, really, really nervous. And KT is Dre then sucker punches him on camera, pretty much allegedly saying they broke Lil Folk's jaw. So that's what King Yellow was pretty much telling Cairo. You want me to bring you a McDonald's memory? I will punch you, put ass to belt, boy, if you keep on playing with us GDs and you keep on playing these two both sides acting like you over here funny funny guy but then in reality you sneak this in really really just disrespecting the nation i'm surprised mr gd's at the door ruga who made this great gd anthem has not spoken on this situation didn't address you know diddy's son with that video going viral hasn't said anything to no limit cairo we saw wooski and his goons pretty much put cairo on check on live when you know they the Cairo accepted their live, but yeah, y'all already know, man. We're gonna keep y'all updated with these two no limit Cairo and King Yella. See what happens. I saw Cairo had responded, but he deleted the post instantly. It was a response where he was making fun of King Yella's dreads, pretty much saying, When did you put the dreads back on your head? and then he deleted it. So, we're going to have to see what happens, man. They keep going back and forth. You already know we're the platform with the open section of comments. So, go ahead, drop your opinion, your thoughts on Cairo, on Diddy, on the whole, I mean, Diddy's son, on the whole King Yella, also now going against Cairo. Y'all let me know. Y'all already know to the next upload. We got you covered, man. We got more uploads on the way. So, be on the lookout. So the next one, salute, salute. I'm out.